So I don't like Maria. I want her out. I don't give a fuck if she cried or don't give a shit. I don't. I didn't say anything when she was crying and she. Fuck her. I don't. I don't care. I, I don't have a good feeling about her. But talk my... behind my back. I say no. I talk when you're not. On, when I know you're not here. Exactly when you came, show your face. I see the same fucking sign. I don't care. Oh, two people were there. I don't give a shit. I don't care. To me, Maria, for like, no. I, and to me, the do, doing that actually shows that you're. Eh. Shows what? She was. She was quiet the whole time. She's a fucking talker, right? She didn't talk at all. She was quiet the whole time. Only at the end. Oh, you want to... Uh, you guys, I heard you You guys, I heard you heard two people. And I'm still talking. I was on there. And I heard you guys. Uh. No, she's trying to throw it on me. She's done so all oh, people was oh, talking you know, behind my back. And when I, when I came... I don't know. Yeah, and I would have been like, yeah, I swear. I, I said, when you're in your back, I said to them, <laughs> you be honest. Be honest about, you know, what you're saying, what you're doing, whatever. Be honest. Be honest. Like, no, I'm not honest. Not you, them. It's fucked up. She's gone on her mission for weeks, whatever. Did you agree? Is, was fucking aggressive in the fucking march hack, yes or no? Yes, she was. Hey, and she did it a couple of weeks ago. And me and Natter called her, and I remember I fucking started the conversation. I was like, no, you can't do that. You can't be defensive. You no, the defensive? You can't do that. She did it again. That the defensive? No, I said, we talked to her about it, remember? Remember what she did the, the last time? We talked to her about it? And then she was good. Then she was good. She was good. Then back to the, today again. Back to that. I'm not surprised because that's even when with Nil Nil. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. Nil is a fucking good, fucking good, good. I have a good eye. No. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. She's good. She's good people. She's not a troll. She will not. No, no, she's not good. Good people. When I choose one, when I choose one, and I have my opinion on one, I tell you, ninety percent hit. Between Linda and Nil, Linda, Nil. Linda, I never trust her. I will take Brown Grammy. I never trust her. You, maybe you'd be mad and think, oh, because she's been she's sweet to you. Linda, I see her face. I see. I I read people. I read people. And the fake account when she said was true hacker account was her making double account in her name. She was just fucking around. I feel sorry for no. I actually feel bad for her. I do. You feel bad when I add her as mods? Me? Don't need mods. I didn't say that. You two yesterday said you don't need. You know me. I like Neil. I was in. We talked over before. So I like Neil. I said we don't need other mods. The plan was get rid of Maria. No, no. People being ne YouTube in this mod and stuff. No, no. Oh, she know to be mod and stuff. Do the roles and stuff. How is work? How is saying work? Actually, actually, watch her, watch her how she talk. When I since I add her to the mod chat, I don't need to talk about anything. I tell her, John, she always been, huh? No. Yeah. Yeah. I sense it. I feel it. I'm the first. I'm the first. Remember? I'm the first. You remember? No, she's not. She's not classy. She's not class. But she's good people. I'm not saying she born with the boy with a gold spoon in her mouth. No, I can't tell she have hard life. She she is tough. She she has life experience. I can't. 
I speak to her twice, by the way. Today in the month, third time. I talked to her just twice before. One time, me and Didi, one time when I had her yesterday. This is third, third time in the month, not two hours. No, that's true. Samantha, Samantha, she have a good friend. Everybody Samantha, this pin. Everybody wants to fuck Honey, she wanna fuck in her nose. No, honey wants to fuck me, you. Me, you. Honey, like Didi. She'll eat her pussy. She'll eat her pussy. Like Chantal. <laughs> 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 oh. No way, Jose. No fucking way. She was, oh, oh, she was, oh, 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 Honestly, the whole time in my head, I swear to God, in my head, fucking Woody Beauty, Chantal ate my pussy. That's it. That's how quick you know, end of story. She keep, she keep doing shit. She keep like. I made my point. She ate her pussy. I'm at that point where I had her eat my pussy. Good. Fuck that shit. I let her eat your pussy, bitch. <laughs> you did, yes, you did. Ah, then fuck her. Uh... Oh, you did. So she took shit about her, I make her eat her pussy. Yeah, and as soon as she, as soon as she ate my pussy, and then he tried to eat my pussy, then she lost it. Yeah. Yeah, can't help it. No, she can't. Because the way I was reacting with Chantal. She was... Ch Didi was... I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it on purpose. You like it, Didi? The more <laughs> I was doing that, the more Chantal's like, uh, uh, uh. the more I was reacting, the more she was into it. I'm not fucking stupid either, fuck. I know. If I was just like, if I lied and let you say starfish, no, you have to react. You get her to react. She reacted. As soon as I, every time I twist my But body, I see this, I see the same react on each person. Uh -huh. She does the same thing. <laughs> the minute Natter went for me, that's it. She was like, and they were both fighting here in the living room. And me again, mediators, guys, stop, 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 guys, guys, Are stop. You? Oh, shit, she was mad. You were mad. This is Chantal. Guys, stop it. Okay. No, I'm not with him. I swear to God, we're not. Whenever I'm trying to fucking mediate, mediate, mediate. I come here in the couch trying to fuck her and did it flipped out. Eh? You no, say? no, I cannot do that. Can you imagine? Put yourself in my situation. I'm in the bed. They're on my couch and they're they're, they're, they're fucking. I hear them fucking kissing and this and that. And in she my did. head, I'm like, okay, foodie beauty Chantal is on my couch right now, fucking, fucking nana. Like in my head, I was like, no, this can't, this is not happening. No. no. Neither. No, it's not happening. Neither cannot fuck so, anybody else. So, no, I can handle it. I got up and I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Neither cannot fuck anybody. See? Good point. That's why she go flipped. Oh. She get jealous of another fucking me. So, she fucking him. <laughs> Thank you.
So if you can get me the address, the sooner you can get me the address, the waiters, the waiter, the lawyer, I, the lawyer is going to be sending me the letter by 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. She wants me to take the weekend to look at it and, you know, make comments or suggestions or things she thinks that I want to take out or not or whatever. And uh, so I have to have the address to her by uh, obviously by Monday, you know. Yes. Yes, please. If you don't mind. I know when we when Natter got arrested, I think I remember you giving it to me. And I, wrote, I had jotted it down because I was ready to go to her house. Remember, I'm just trying to think who else that if you're the first person I thought of. I'm like, who else has her address? Like, I don't know anybody. I, I don't I don't think Natter knows her address because she just gets picked up and drove in there when he was with her, you know, so he doesn't actually know her address. OK, good. OK, perfect. You can't afford it. He doesn't have any money. Chantal was paying his rent, I'm sure. He can't afford it. Exactly. And then he has, uh, you know, he has to send money to his parents, his family. He's got, you know, uh, he doesn't have money. That's why, like, me, if he stays here, I pay my own, everything I'm, I'm paying already, whether it's here or not, I'm paying my own mortgage, I'm paying my own bills, it's me. But, but he can't stay here forever. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what his plan is. I have no idea. He needs to really sit down and think about what he does, what he wants. Because me, as of next week, I'm like full force. To, well, I started this week too. I, I'm like nonstop. Just <clears throat> I work, you know, like since I've been at home when I was in Gatineau, it was, it was harder. Now I'm home. I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm working nine to five. If I don't get up to, you know what I mean? I'm not doing he needs to get his shit together. He needs to understand that this is fucking serious stuff. And I've, I've done a lot for him and I've been there for him. And he needs to understand, like, this is affecting my life now and not in a good way. Um, so he needs to decide what he wants to do. I don't know. He doesn't have anybody. I wouldn't be surprised if he eventually just goes back with her. I wouldn't be surprised. No. No, she's she's the one. She's the puppet ringer. She's the one who's. She thinks that he's. He thinks that she's the puppet. No, she's actually the puppet. She's the one man, like able to fucking. Right, like she's the one who has all the the everything on her side. These cases or this. Oh, and apparently he's got. Well, that's the thing. I don't know. <laughs> he's got a phone. He's got his phone back, so he has been in contact with her, or she's been in contact with him. He's got a new number now, apparently. So something's going on in Gatineau <laughs> since he left. I don't know what it is, but something's going on. And, like, I need to know. I have all his shit. All he took was the clothes on his back. He brought another bag to bring more stuff here from his house. I think another pair of underwear and his iPads and his phones. That's all he brought. So everything else is here. Every Everything else is here. He said he told, he's got to get rid of it. The landlord said that he's coming. He says, you get rid of the furniture. The landlord's supposed to come, look at the place, and then sign the paper to say that, that he's breaking the lease. Because the landlord wants him out. So even he can't even stay there even if he wants to. The landlord wants him out. So it's like, that's that, yeah. So he, that's why. No matter what, he can't even stay there. Hey? Okay? Well, I, I mean, the landlord is an asshole, and the reason happening is because of the neighbor, you know, the noise, the ninja, you know, all the neighbors giving him trouble. So now the, the landlord's taking for the, the neighbor and, you know, so he, he just wants out. He wants Natter out. That's it. He just wants Natter out. Yeah, he needs to figure out where, what the hell's happening. I told him, I said, you know, I care about you a lot, but you're making some fucking stupid the fucking decisions, like unbelievably stupid decisions you're making. Like, you're making stupid decisions, Natter. Like, you have to get your... That was the, the worst thing ever. I know. Yes, they did. They did. They did. They did. They said, you know what? You did that during working hours. I remember telling him, I'm like, can you wait till I finish work? You know, do it now. Do it now. It's only going to be like 15 minutes. I'm like, but I, I'm working. And I, you know, and then he's like, just do it now. You know how Natter is. Okay, okay. It's only 15 minutes. Okay. I did it. And of course, I got told you did that during working hours. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. I know all kinds of repercussions because of all this. Bad decisions on his part. When I talked to him today, I said, uh, that's what I said. I said, what are you, like, what are you? I forget what I was going to say now. Fuck. 
Uh, what were you just talking about? But April Fools, yeah. Yeah, I said, then when are you doing a next live? And now it's been two days. Now you're not doing lives. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Oh, my channel, sh my channel is shit now anyway. I'm like, it's shit because you're making it shit. If you don't work at it, it's not going to make it work itself. So get your ass out of bed and go take a fucking shower and get your ass in gear and do what you need to do. Then he says, yeah, I think I'm going to go live. I'm like, from what? The hotel? Like, oh, that's going to really uh, not going to bring people fucking questioning, right? He said that like five hours. He said that five hours ago. He didn't, he didn't do it. So. He's in a bad mood, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, me too. He was, uh, he was in bed when he was... Uh... He called me at like... Uh, he called me at 4.30 in the morning because I, I was like upset last night and whatever. And then he called me again uh, this this morning. We talked for like 40 minutes, I think, whatever. And then... He hung up and I said, okay. Then I said, okay, what, what, what's the plan? What are you doing? Are you coming back tonight and all that? And he's like, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm not sitting here just waiting. You know, I have a lot. My birthday is, kind of, is on Monday. I want to celebrate my birthday with my friends. I want, you know, I'm not sitting here just. Uh... <clears throat> he doesn't even want me. He doesn't even want me to see my friends. I mean, the guy is so controlling. It's like, that's not happening. I'm sorry. Like. Yeah. I've been there, done that too. I did that. I'm not doing it again. I know that. I, and I told him, it's not, if you're giving me an ultimatum and it's between seeing my friend or you, I'm taking my friend. She's my friend of 30 years. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, that's, that's not happening. That's not happening. Not happening. I had a life. I had a life before this, all this. I had a life. I had a life. Right? And now it's like, it, my life is revolving around him and trying to make him and doing everything for him and making sure he's okay and everything's okay and and, and, and and now it's now it's enough now it's enough now it's like now, that's it i know i know wow good for you yeah the world the world i know that's what you have to keep saying to yourself because the world my world was revolving around him even going to bed at four o'clock in the morning five o'clock in the morning for weeks and weeks and weeks like Last night, I was like, oh, I was able to, I had a good night's sleep, you know, and he woke me up at 4.30, but whatever. And tonight, I plan on doing the same thing. I'm going to go to bed early. I wanna, I'm going to have a good night's sleep. Now, I'm, I'm on uh, fucking suspension for three days. Like, I still in shock about all this. Like, ugh, I can't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like I said, because I just need to know what his plan is, because I, it's, it, I won't be able to actually fully, you know, calm down or whatever until I know what his plan is. I know, but it's not being in a hotel room right now. Being in a hotel room is not something responsible that's helping him in any fucking way. So, yeah, sex and also, yeah, that's it. Nader does whatever he does, whatever he wants. He doesn't, like, no, he doesn't. And, you know, he asked me to go to Gatsuna with him. I'm the one who told him, no, thank fucking God. What the hell? I was what would that have been like? I'm going to stay in your fucking bedroom in Gatsino while you're fucking doing whatever you want. Oh, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? I'm so happy I said no. I know. But then they said, in the next fuck up, it's termination. So, I don't want to, though. I had no, ch I had no, I had no intentions of it, though. I had no intentions of having a channel. So, that doesn't really bother me, but... <clears throat> He doesn't know anything yet. I had the meeting with my bosses at three and then I had the lawyer at four. Then I messaged him saying, we need to talk. And I kind of briefly told him what's going on. All he wrote was, oh my God. And then he wrote, I said, can you please call me when you have a second? And he says, yes, I will. And that was at like 4.30. I haven't heard from him. Sessions for three days. He knows that I'm contacted a lawyer. He knew I was on the, he was here when I was on the phone with the lawyer making this, this meeting. So, but he doesn't, he, three days for suspension and that I got a written warning that I had to sign. So he knows all that. But like, you know what, if you're so concerned, if you really, if you care about me in any way, you're going to be calling me back and saying, okay, what the fuck happened? Tell me what's going on. You know what I mean? So he's not, so he's not alone, I guess. I don't know. You know what I mean? Hmm. Did she do a live today? Did Chantal do a live today? She's not wearing that? Mm. I gotta get out of all this shit. That's all I know.
no, no. You take matters, you know, I took the matters in my own hands. I made the phone calls I'm doing. I'm not asking, you know, I'm not asking anybody about it. No, I didn't, I don't even want to bring it up in the mod squad. I did message her privately, Melissa, the angel hands, and she wrote me back and I was just telling her and, and she says, yeah, good. And da da da. like, that's it. But I'm not, I'm not asking anybody for advice or, you know, no, I'm taking matters in my own hands and nobody needs to know. I know because just, you mentioned her name like once or twice is nothing, you know? Listen, if she wants to do it, go ahead, but then leave you guys out of it. Just let her do her own thing. She doesn't need to ask you guys for anything. I know. I know. Me, the lawyer, my the lawyer to me, a complete opposite. Complete opposite. Yeah. She said you can actually get money from her, but the legal fees are going to be a lot too. So it's like I have to, I don't know. I just said, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, all that shit. I, can't, I, mean, listen, I, I don't have $30,000 to just... Uh, you know, no, it's two hundred dollars right now that I have to pay yesterday just for this, you know, the consultation and stuff. And every two weeks they say they send you a bill, and I'm like, okay, but I don't need a bill of three thousand dollars one. You know, I need to know. I need to have. So I'm gonna once I get this letter and I send it back to her, I'm gonna have another conversation with her. Say, how does it exactly work? And I need to know somehow, somewhat, what I'm expected to pay because I'm not. I want just the letter to be sent to her. Like I said, I'm not even looking for financial gain. I just want her to stop talking about me. That is my main thing. But knowing Chantal and how, because after the letter is sent to her, she's got 10 days to reply, reply. So, you know, knowing Chantal and how irresponsible she is and doesn't follow through on shit, that she might not even do anything, right? And then if she doesn't, then that's when you take the next course of action. And it's like, well... Maybe just getting the letter doesn't do anything, but at least you know this is happening, so shut your mouth. Or, and, or more, you never know with her. She'll be so mad, and she'll go on live and say, I got a letter from my bailiff, about, right? Like, she might even do that. Then she's fucked. So she's got to know her. She has to understand what, what repercussions all this. This is serious fucking shit now, you know? I hope so. For now, that's all we can ask. I mean, my family doesn't know about this. My brother and my mother, because they're not on social media. My brother's not a social media person at all. So, you know, but you know, I don't, like, if it comes to the lawyer fees and all that, my brother has money. I know he saved a lot of money, but it's like, I don't want to even go to that. You know, I don't even want to go there where I have to sit him down and explain to him. He knows nothing about any of this. Like, he knows the Natters here, but he doesn't know about Chantal and X and, and what's going on and all the bitching back and forth. He does nothing about that. So... I don't want to get to the point where I have to sit him down and explain to him everything and say, okay, I'm going to need like $10,000 or whatever. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to get to that point. Ugh. No thanks. Yeah. I mean, my brother will support me. He'll be on my side for sure. But I'll hear all kinds of like, what are you doing? You're so stupid. I'm going to hear all of that, right? So ugh, I don't want to go there. Anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you could send me the address as soon as you can, whenever, like uh, tonight or tomorrow morning, whatever, and I will uh, send it over to my lawyer. And uh, I don't know, I guess uh, to be continued because I don't know where Natter is and I don't know when he's coming back and I don't know what the fuck's going on. But okay, take care. Bully Gossip Channel. Gossip channels are not criticism. You don't give valid criticism. You just give valid hot air crap diarrhea coming out of your friggin' mouth all day long. You and that whole panel. It's just a circle jerk and it smells like farts. Okay? So, eat crap on the stick! Fried at the carnival. Yes. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> and dip it in fucking ranch. Eat a fried turd and dip it in ranch. <sighs> Anyways, I miss you guys. I wish I could talk to you. No, I don't want to pull over yet because I'm so far from home. You know? And I seen the leech live or did a little video. I need to start. I honestly need to just have like a crap talking channel like i swear i want to show to like react to stuff like i i freaking have stream and use it and i pay for it every, every month 
Like, another automatic expense. There's so, so many automatic- I not know it anymore. It's so annoying. I gotta go through all that. I could probably be a fucking millionaire just by canceling all my shitty $5.99 subscriptions. That's how- that's how they get you. Oh, it's only $4.99 a month. Yeah, until you have about 20 of those. <laughs> and then you're paying friggin' million dollars a month on everything. Oh. So anyways, I just wanted to say that I find that I put the- I, I, I helped you out. I put the flight number in the title for you. So what? Like, it just astounds me that when people are faced with the truth, They just continue to bullshit, just like Natter did, and doo-doo, faced with video evidence of abuse, and what do they do? Stand by your man, let the whole world know he's a piece of shit. And, then now you have these reaction channels, like stale garlic fucking ball-tickling Monty freaks. <laughs> oh! making up shit because they're feeling the heat because they know you know what like if you are more messy than the person you're roasting what happens huh that's right that's right i don't care what time i get up tomorrow i'm putting in those 5k steps you know what i might get 5k steps in as it is already probably not probably about three thousand Maybe 5,000, like, whenever I actually do a whole day's work of housework and, like, doing stuff. But I want to do, like, a separate walk. Like, a whole walk. And it has to be early enough in the day so it's not too freaking hot. Anyways. My point is... I really, really, really need to... So go, just, please just go away. Like, seriously, you're just an idiot. I need to react to these people, too. That's how much I hate them. <laughs> anyway. I don't know what else to say. I kind of want to listen to music now, so... I just wanted to come on and prove every time. I have no problem. Like, no, some proof. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking. I hate. You know what it is? I hate explaining myself to people who don't fucking deserve it. You know, like. But at the same time, I don't know how people can be so dumb. Like, okay, as if I would actually be with Nada right now. As if. As if, as if, as if, uh, I want nothing to do with broccoli and Barney rubble ever again in my fucking life. Ever, 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 ever. Like, I just, I just find it funny that the people think, the, the lengths they think I go to to lie. Like, why would I... I just don't even get it. Oh my god. Anyway. So yeah, look up that flight. It's actually a flight from... Okay, so. It's a WestJet flight and it's a flight from... Mon I think it's Mobe to Toronto. And then Toronto to fucking Ottawa. Okay, know it all. So maybe get some stronger prescription of glasses and look up the flight number on my fucking thing make another video and apologizing for being fucking wrong take some accountability for your damn self because you like to be so self-righteous but you're you know what it's all fake how do you even live with yourself or sleep at night like really i, I could never being a fake loser being a fake ass bitch i could never sleep at night 
No. That being real is so much more important to me now than being right. And that's how I know I've grown as a person or I'm growing as a person. Because I'm not going to argue and keep arguing and keep making dumb shit up just to try to make myself look superior. Because at that point, you're doing the opposite of what criticism should be. You're just a shit stain on the whole world of reaction channels. So, therefore, you suck. Have a seat. Goodbye. Thank you. Next.